itself. In my view, I, I think extraordinary accusations must be followed up with extraordinary proof. And Mr. Walsh and Mr. Ballester have worked four or five years, and they have not come up with extraordinary proof. How could anybody have believed this guy? I suppose, that, you know, we've got a very powerful media, very powerful television, very powerful sponsors, very powerful race organizers, very powerful world body controlling the sport. And if all of those people coalesce to present a story that they want to present, well, it's very difficult for the public not to believe it. I felt I was the one in a privileged position. I didn't believe this guy, a guy that the world saw as an icon. And the Sunday Times said to me, you know what, um, go on investigating that. Keep doing it, because we believe you when you say this guy's a fraud. He said I was the worst journalist in the world. He said I would do anything to bring him down. He said a journalist with ethics, that's not David Walsh, he has no ethics. So, I mean, he tried to destroy my career in every way that he could, in terms of what he called me and the kind of journalist he described me as. Do you owe David Walsh an apology? <laughs> That's a good question. Do you owe David Walsh an apology, who for 13 years has pursued this story, who wrote for The Times, who's now written books right. about you and this entire process? I, I would, I would, I'd apologize to David. One of the ironies of this whole story was um, people used to look upon me and say, oh, wow, well, she's so bloody cynical. Can't, as Lance said in his, in his valedictory address after winning the 2005 Tour de France, I pity all you people who cannot dream. And of course, he was talking about people like me, people who questioned him. Well, I actually was the dreamer. The guys who believed him, in my eyes, were the cynics. Yes or no, did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. Yes or no, was one of those banned substances EPO? Yes. Yes or no, in all seven of your Tour de France victories, did you ever take banned substances or blood dope? Yes. <laughs>